Trust me, that is all I need. Yo, I'm still at your heart tonight. Take my hand and stand by my side. Hey guys, what's up? We are back, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make a lot of warlocks every single day using the daily quest so we're gonna head right into this video and I'm gonna sh first show you the example from last week where the daily quest was uh, sushi knives so as soon as the daily quest new daily quest came out I went into buy knife I'm pretty sure it was buy knife and I went in this and there were a bunch of these sushi knives selling for two per world lock. So what I did was I bought 200 of them for 100 world locks. And this made me a ton of world locks because people were people ended up buying them during the day for 30 per 25 and 30 for 30. So instead of so when I spent 100 world locks, I ended up making like 170 in the end. So I made 70 world locks profit in one day. And like, you can do this and make like a ton of warlocks every single day. I usually use the stuff for the quest and then there's usually like a limited amount of them, but that day was just one of the examples that can make you a lot of warlocks. So I'm gonna, like if you look today, I'm just gonna give you guys another example. You can't really see it, but it was Steam Funnel Down, which are usually like 40 per warlock, I think. And mission block seeds and mission block seeds are normally like i think like a hundred per world lock but today they were 15 per world lock 16 per world lock so i i bought 200 of them for like 15 world locks so that was pretty expensive and that's why i only have 16 world locks but like i'll just i'll show you some of the stuff you can do so for me a lot of the time i noticed that the Crime cards get like the seeds of them get chosen as the daily quest. So what I suggest you guys do is not like but get the seeds yet. Like not buy the blocks and break the seeds yet, but like go to normal crime worlds and just buy the cards and keep them in your inventory. And then when the daily quest comes out, you can break the blocks and sell the seeds, and then you can make a ton of ton of world locks because the seeds go like two per one on those days they go like one per one people will sell them so it's really good to do so like if you go to buy crime which is not a world it'll just bring you like buy crime e yeah so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna look around find some sellers and then you're gonna go to the world so i don't even know what world it is but it's just like find someone. He sells packs. Sky Crime. Let's go to Sky Crime. So if you see this guy selling all everything really cheap, you're gonna get like three seeds, four seeds per every world lock. So basically, if you're getting four seeds a world lock, and then you sell on the daily quest day one per world lock, you're getting like four times profit, and I think that's really good. So even if you're not making a lot, you're making it daily, and that's really important because if you're making 10 world locks a day, then you're making 70 world locks a week. And the more world locks you have, the more world locks you can invest in the items, and the more world locks you invest in the items, the more you get back in the end. So like, if you if the daily quest is, it's normally these, or a lot of the time ice shards so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna look in the vending machine you're gonna see they're pretty cheap you're gonna spend three world blocks you're gonna get like and this one you're gonna get like 36 blocks so you're gonna break you're gonna wait before you break them and then if it on the day that that's the daily quest if it's the seeds then you're just gonna break the blocks and if it's not the seeds you just keep the blocks so like let's say it's deliver 25 ice shards you can just go and into your inventory and say, I sell 25 ice shards for eight world locks and then you made a six world lock profit. But if you go a lot bigger than that and you invest like 60 world locks into every one of these, which uh, that's ridiculous, but because like the chance of all of those happening is really low. But like if you invest 60 world locks in and you get like 600 crime card resuscitates, 
you're gonna get like like 180 seeds if you break them on the day and or you, if it comes out on the day that it's resuscitate deliver resuscitate the cards might go like five per world lock and all of a sudden you have 120 world locks or so so that's a lot of profit that's like doubling your world locks but if it's the seeds you're gonna make even more you can like quadruple your world locks so that's like really really good so i think this is like a really good thing and there's also like if you look at my inventory i have a little bit of it saved up just from doing random stuff but like another thing might be all the die in these worlds are just gonna be cheap like blue is three for one but if on the daily quest day you need to deliver 27 blue blue might go like one or two per world lock so instead of, like if you buy 27 blue normally for like ooh, like six world locks you're gonna get 27 blue for like 13 14 world locks which that's a lot of profit that's like eight world locks profit but like on the day you're just gonna go to the world you're gonna quickly buy out everything that you can see and you're gonna pray that everyone needs it throughout the day and then you're gonna sell it a lot more expensive this was not the case with one of the times that I did it and I did end up losing like two world locks but in the end it, the risk is like very worth the taking so I just wanted to share this method with you guys because I made so much world locks using this method and I think it's really good so try it out for yourself you might if your time zones all messed up it might be really hard to get on the daily quest like exactly when it comes out but and it is sort of for me it's like really late at night but I think it's really worth it because every single day you can make like sometimes I make like 70 world locks so if I'm making 70 world locks and it only takes me five minutes of course I'm going to take that. So, I just wanted to get this out there. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.